Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I am back with the ASUS Tinkerboard and I wanna test out some video playback. Now I'm gonna be using their built-in video player. I'll switch over to Kodi and then we'll do some YouTube playback also. I have a bunch of different formats here. It will be listed on the screen when the video is playing. So one thing you have to do is open the video player. You can either right click on your file, open the video player, hit play and then go full screen. It cannot render 4K in a window within Linux here. Another thing to remember is the ASUS Tinkerboard is a very young board, so playback might not be perfect. If you messed with the Raspberry Pi 1, there was a lot of hiccups when that board first came out. It was my paperweight for a long time until they started getting some development going. Here's 1080p MP4. These are kind of my go-to videos for my Android TV box playback. So 1080p worked great. Next up, we're going to do a 4K 30 FPS MP4. Now, Asus never said that this will do 4K 60 FPS, and it will not play them. It is very bad playback, but the box isn't designed for 4K 60 FPS. Now, at the very bottom, you can see this green bar coming up. This only happens within the built-in video player, and a few videos are a lot different. So I get a little bit of stuttering here. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. It's just a tiny bit of stuttering, but it's actually handling this video file pretty good. Next up, we have 120 megabits a second, 4K, 264.mkv. And it actually plays this file fairly well. Another 128 megabits a second, 4K, but this is HEVC 10bit.mkv. The next one I'm going to do is a 4K.MKV. I'm not sure of the bitrate or anything like that. Now this one's a bit odd because I don't have any trouble playing this on my PC or my Nvidia Shield or some other Android boxes that I've tested. But as you can see at the bottom here, green bars all over the place. Kind of weird, but I'm sure they'll have this fixed. Give it another couple releases and this board's going to be doing pretty good. Last one, 4K HEVC X265.mkv. This file does have audio, but I had to cut it out because I'm sure it's a copywritten song. But this video is beautiful. Like, I, I know watching it on YouTube isn't going to give it justice, but here on my big screen TV, it looks amazing.
I'm going to be moving on to some Kodi playback. Now I'm going to test these same videos within Kodi and I'm going to test some TV show streaming. So it's really easy to install Kodi on this build. You will download Kodi Krypton, the latest version, and it works pretty good for streaming. Now video playback from local files isn't too great, but we're going to test that now. I chose to install Apollo. Now you can just use Kodi like it is and use local media playback from a server or a USB drive or an external hard drive. But a lot of people want to install these builds and stream their movies. 99.9% .9 of the people buying these Kodi boxes only want to stream them. They don't have a dedicated server set up with movies on it. I'm not going to skip any of this. I want you to see how long it does take. Now I have messed with this three times and I've streamed one movie from it. It worked pretty good, but loading everything up does take a little while. Hopefully, if ASUS is working with OpenELEC or LibreELEC, we'll get a dedicated Kodi build for this board here, and it's going to be really great. So I'll do Better Call Saul. We'll just see if it's able to stream it. Like I said, I did stream a movie, and it worked amazing. I am wired right now. When I streamed the movie last time, I was on Wi-Fi. I actually plugged in the wired connection just to see if it would speed up loading here. Didn't help at all. So it has no trouble streaming these movies. I just skipped almost halfway into it. It's working great. I'll find your cause. Now I'm going to go into some local media playback using this build of Kodi. I'll just have to go to my file manager and find my videos that are on my internal drive. I'm using an SD card right now. They're on my desktop. I'll be using Apollo. Go to file manager. Find where your movies are located and you can play them directly from there. So we'll do that Big Buck Bunny, 1080p, 60fps, mp4. And I notice it skipping. So the built-in media player on the Tinkerboard is a lot better than this right now, but over time this is just going to get better and better and you'll be able to use Kodi. There's probably going to be a really nice Kodi standalone OS for this. Yeah, I, I noticed some tearing, a little bit of skip in here, even at the 1080p 60fps mark. So I might as well try it. 4K 30fps MP4. I don't think it's going to do too well in Kodi. Definitely not doing great. So the built-in media player on the Tinkerboard has hardware acceleration. And to tell you the truth, I'm not sure if Kodi is using hardware acceleration right now. It might be, but it's not optimized. So I'm sure it's not going to work well, but we're going to do this 4K HEVC 10-bit. .mkv, just as I thought, like one FPS. So we're just going to have to wait for some official support from Cody. I mean, that's fine with me right now. 
I don't really use my desktop as a media center, but I wanted to show you the playback capabilities of the new version 1.8. We're gonna be moving to YouTube now. I'm using the built-in Chromium web browser. We're gonna test out some 1080p 60fps YouTube videos. So I'm just gonna search for a video I did a long time ago, it's Forza 6. It's definitely 1080p, 60 FPS. We'll see how it does. Make sure it's on 1080p. I wanna go ahead and full screen this, but I want it to buffer all the way through. Now I did test this earlier and I could not get it to buffer completely when I was using 1080p. 720 buffered pretty fast and completely all the way. So I could sit here all day and it's just going to stick it halfway. I'm going to try to play it. Still stuttering pretty good for a 1080p, yeah. And it just... It tries to buffer, but it will not finish at 1080p. A little weird. I'm going to switch it to 720p. And it plays fine. 720p, 60fps. I'm going to let this buffer all the way through. Goes up pretty quick. And we'll hit play. Every once in a while, I'll still notice a little bit of stuttering but it does a great job at 720. So that's it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe. Now, I know this was a long video, but I wanted to get this out of the way because I've had tons of people asking me about video playback. So the Asus Tinkerboard is available on Amazon. Link is in the description. We just got to give it a little bit of time, guys. It has only been officially launched for a few weeks, and it's doing pretty good. If you ever used the Raspberry Pi 1 when it first came out, it was pretty much just a paperweight. It would crash all the time. We just got to give Asus time, and I'm sure this board's going to perform really good. Like always, thanks for watching.